I was over in Egypt and I've always had a fascination with the pyramids. And anybody who's been to the pyramids of Giza or Giza would know that, you know, they're surrounded by the old Cairo or that whole settlement around there. So there's a lot of development. But there are some ways you can get angles so that you can try and, you know, isolate them from all that confusion. But I wanted to do a sunrise. So off I went with this friend of mine that I'd met up over there and um, we had to pay a little bit of money to some of the guards to get through and to be allowed in. But we finally got there. Anyhow, we're sitting there waiting for the sunrise and there was just this mist that came in. And at the time, you know, my guides are saying, look, you're wasting your time. This mist's not going to lift. And I thought, no, no, let's just wait, just wait. And what was great about the mist, it just covered everything, including old Cairo in the background or the Gaza, the, the settlement there. So all you had was, and you, but you couldn't see anything really. And then all of a sudden the guy just kept saying, oh no, let's just go, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. And I thought, no, no, look, what have we got to lose? Let's just hang in, hang in here and wait and wait. And so he waited, then all of a sudden the sun just broke through just a little bit and the cloud all of a sudden parted. And it was perfect because the cloud, all of a sudden it covered up the old city but just allowed you to see the pyramids, and the pyramids just look so mysterious, you know, floating in this mist. And it's as if you were there thousands of years ago because you don't see the influences of humanity. It just looks like what it may have been like many, many years ago. So that's what was so fascinating. So sometimes when you think it's time to give up, don't give up, just hang in there because often they're the most mysterious and incredible shots you're ever going to get.